Hi, Alicia here. I just want to share really briefly one of my tips for getting um, some good top stitching around corners. I know this is something a lot of people struggle with, especially new sewers, and it's something that I also struggled with when I was just beginning. Um, so I actually was just doing this and I thought I'd stop and shoot a quick video. So one thing that is super important to keep in mind is a lot of people will look at their needle when they're sewing and try to feed in at this point, which is where your edge of your fabric is going under the presser foot, but your needle is back here, which is probably a third of an inch, in, in my case, further back. So if we look at the presser foot, what we're interested in is where this is, not necessarily where this is. So what I do is I go slow, and I take it, my camera's in the way of the light here, I take it you know, one stitch at a time, and so then when I get to the point where um, I'm about to encounter the curve, if I start to turn now to keep this um, lined up, it's actually going to get a little less, right now I'm trying to do 1 8 inch seam allowance, it's actually run the risk of getting a little less than an eighth of an inch because my needle's back here, it's not at this point that I'm looking at. So what you're really interested in is this point right here, directly out from the side of the needle. Um, so the best thing you can do is go slow and lift your presser foot often and look. And I just want to make sure this is always lined up with that mark. And this, this right here is uh, the edge of the plate is my 1 8 inch. Um, so I'm just going to go one stitch at a time, right? And then I'm going to turn it and get it back in line. Do another stitch. Now we have pretty much a straight edge here. Okay, uh, can you see that? Looks great. Um, so that's something that um, once I figured that out, it really became a lot easier for me. And um, you know, the more you do it, you, you do get faster. So you don't always have to go very slow. Um, but if you want to know, like if you've got a project and you spent a lot of money on materials or you've just put a lot of time and effort into um, cutting and interfacing and sewing your project and you want, you know, this is like the face of your project and you want it to look really beautiful, um, you want to take your time and go slow. And, and once you get more practice, you can, you can go faster as you get more comfortable. Um, but that's how I get what I think is very good top stitching. Um, so I'm very pleased with this. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, if this video helped you, please uh, give us a like, a thumbs up, um, and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.